Joining us now is Republican Congressman from Oregon, Cliff Bentz. Congressman, good to see you, and thank you so much for coming on. Obviously, a very serious topic and a very sad case for families and friends that, that have been really impacted by this hard. Tell us about this measure uh, 110, decriminalizing drug use and possession for personal use. How has it impacted the state, in your opinion? Well, uh, first of all, Sean, thank you so much for having, having me on your show. The um, Measure 110 was passed by the people of Oregon. The concept was if you legalized small amounts of drugs, then then suddenly uh, the situation would grow better. In fact, it's grown immensely worse. And uh, the number of folks that have been uh, dying from drug overdoses is over a thousand, I think, last year. And the number of uh, uh, the number of uh, problem problems uh, have gone up by 40 percent year over year. The, the situation has grown much, much worse. And there's many other reasons. But legalizing small amounts of drugs means that law enforcement's not going to step in to do anything, regardless of the amount of drugs, because they know that, uh, that having tried to prove how much a person has is going to be impossible. So what we really have is, is uh, people using drugs all over the place and law enforcement doing nothing. And the, the new law, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, if, if you are caught in possession of those substances is no more than what they call a Class E violation, basically the equivalent of a traffic ticket, punishable by a $100 fine? Is that right? That's right. And, but the, basically, the, basically what's happened, I've talked to the police about this, uh, and they've said, we don't, we don't bother with that anymore. We know that the, the folks are not going to be prosecuted, so we turned our attention elsewhere. Do people pay the fine? I, what, what are you hearing? And, and, and uh, there's a lot of middle class families living in cities like like Portland. Are they OK with it? What are you hearing from constituents there? Oh, OK. Well, uh, Portland's not part of my district, but I, I will tell you that the people that I do talk to have said that that Oregon has become a, uh, a, a place you want to go if you want to use drugs. That's what it boils down to. And the fine people paying the fine. I, I'm almost tempted to laugh, but I won't. It's so sad. Uh, no, I don't know if anybody's paying the fine, but it uh, doesn't mean that somebody might have paid it. But I think it's much more likely that people simply aren't, aren't, being, uh, aren't being apprehended, aren't being prosecuted, because that's no longer viewed as something that law enforcement is going to be spending its time on. Mm. Uh, I'll switch gears here to talk about gas. AAA reporting this, a gallon of gas sitting at $5 a gallon um, here, again, from AAA. That has gone down from a penny uh, two days ago. However, still averaging right there, Oregon at $5.54. So you guys are higher there. Um, uh, you've, you've obviously heard the, the president speak about this, the administration. There's, there's blame on Putin. There's blame on the oil companies. Um, how does this sit with you in terms of how this is being handled, um, not only maybe by this administration, but is there more that other congressional leaders can do? Right. Well, so the cost of gasoline is one thing. I think we ought to look at the cost of diesel because what's happening is the cost of diesel is going so high that truckers in Oregon are actually parking their trucks. They're not able to afford to operate. Uh, owner operators in particular. And what that means is, of course, as the fuel costs go up, is we're going to have more uh, uh, more challenges in the grocery stores because goods will not be delivered. As far as what I think we should be doing, we should be looking at the refineries and saying, hey, uh, we need to keep them open. And in fact, it might be it might make a little sense to actually open a new one. But the Democrats are extraordinarily interested in replacing all things fossil fuel, forgetting that about 80, 85 percent of what we do is we rely upon fossil fuel. So the, the trick now is for us to keep, get our refineries back up and running and whatever it takes to get that done. And we have one that may shut down actually next year mm. and, uh, and then uh, and then do our best to try to uh, reverse some of the Bi some of the Biden blunders, as we call it, that, that have resulted in, in a lot of the higher prices we see now. Are you encouraged by some of the primary results that you've seen so far in terms of the Republican Party uh, taking the House, possibly the Senate come November? Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, I'm very, very encouraged. And, and it's no surprise, right? It's the worse things get, the more people realize we've got to make a change. We've got to have someone offsetting the, the policies that are coming out of the Biden White House. So, uh, yes, I'm very, very pleased with the outcome of of uh, many of, of uh, our, our primaries. And uh, I look forward to uh, being in the majority in about six months. 
All right, we'll leave it right there. Oregon Congressman Cliff Bentz joining us live, the U.S. Congressman there. Thank you so much. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you.